On February 27, 2019, an Indian Mi-17 helicopter was shot down during a normal mission when it was hit by India's own air defense system. Six people, including Indian Air Force members, were killed. The incident occurred around the same time and on the same day that Pakistan Air Force targeted Indian installations in Jammu and Kashmir in response to an Indian airstrike on a terrorist camp in Balakot, Pakistan. The former chief of the Indian Air Force referred to the incident as a big mistake. So what exactly went wrong here? The incident emphasizes the risks that come with operating in an environment that is dynamic and frequently changing, particularly in the context of a conflict, where decisions must be taken quickly and with minimal information. It also highlights the significance of excellent communication and coordination between different units and agencies, particularly in instances where numerous actors may be operating in the same area at the same time. The group captain, who was in charge of making the decision to shoot down the helicopter, has been found guilty on five charges and has been dismissed of his position as a result of the overall command and control failure. The group captain was found to have ignored a general order that had been issued by the Air Force headquarters. This was due to the fact that he had let the helicopter to take off without the identification friend or foe indicator being turned on. So what exactly are identification friend or foe systems? Identification friend or foe systems are used to prevent incidents of friendly fire and to facilitate air traffic control. The encrypted nature of the IFF signals aids in preventing unauthorized access and jamming by hostile forces and the system is perpetually updated to maintain its security and efficacy. The systems may different, depending on the specific system and the military force employing it. This is how IFF systems function. The aircraft's transponder responds to a specific radio frequency signal transmitted from the ground-based interrogator. The transponder transmits a response signal containing information about the aircraft, including its identification code, altitude, and other data. The ground-based interrogator receives and decodes the encrypted response signal to determine whether the aircraft is friendly or hostile. If the signal is from a friendly aircraft, the interrogator will respond with an encrypted friend signal to indicate the identification of the aircraft as friendly. If the signal is from a hostile aircraft, the interrogator will respond with a coded foe signal to indicate that the aircraft has been identified as hostile. In the military, a mistake or error can have serious effects, like injuring or killing soldiers, civilians, or even causing an entire mission to fail. Because of this, there isn't much room for error in the military, and even a small mistake can have big effects. In the past, there have been times when the U.S. military shot down one of its own fighter planes by mistake. On April 14, 1994, two U.S. F-15 fighter jets accidentally shot down two U.S. Army Blackhawk helicopters, killing 26 people on board. This happened during a training exercise over Iraq. The F-15s mistakenly identified the Black Hawk helicopters as enemy aircraft and engaged them. Due to poor communication and coordination between the different military units involved in the exercise, the F-15 pilots did not receive proper identification and location information for the Black Hawk helicopters before opening fire. Following the incident, the U.S. military conducted a thorough investigation and made changes to its training procedures and communication protocols to prevent similar incidents from occurring in the future. Several of the officers involved in the incident received administrative discipline. 
This is why, mistakes in the military, are often punished harshly, so that everyone knows how important their actions are, and takes the greatest care when doing their jobs. Also, military discipline is important for keeping order, and keeping the lines together. There is a tight chain of command in the military, with orders coming from the top down. Even a small change, from the way things are usually done, can mess up the chain of command, and possibly make the operation less effective. When soldiers know that mistakes will have major results, they are more likely to follow the rules and procedures that are meant to keep them and their fellow soldiers safe. The 2019 Mi-17 friendly fire incident was a tragic event that resulted in several fatalities. It was a stark reminder of how crucial it is for the military to have the proper training and adhere to the proper procedures. To prevent similar occurrences in the future, it is essential to analyze and learn from what went wrong. The Indian Air Force has conducted a comprehensive investigation to determine what went horribly wrong. It is also essential that training initiatives for troops be improved so that they are more aware of their surroundings and can make better decisions. And it is the responsibility of the Indian Defense Establishment to determine what must be done to prevent similar catastrophes in the future.